Hey guys, I'm coming to you curly and today I am doing a full detailed wash day routine for my high porosity hair and I am going to be using products from Cryo Botanicals. I'll be using their entire high porosity line. Let's go. I'm going in first with the cleansing conditioner and I'm taking about a quarter size amount to the first little section of my hair and I'm taking it from the middle up to the top and massaging it into my hair and gliding it down to the ends. I like to make sure that my hair is detangled as I go through my process my hair gets very easily detangled as the whole procedure goes, so I have to make sure that I take my time to distribute the product and also detangle my hair during the process. And I love how this co-wash really saturated and detangled my hair. It just worked really well, as you can see. And now I'm going to the back section of my hair. I generally do work in four sections, but sometimes I kind of free form and just kind of go around my head. And with the back section, this is kind of like my problem section because it just gets so tangled as you can see. No matter how many times I detangle and detangle and detangle, it still tangles right back up. And it can get really frustrating, but I just take my time and work the products through my hair so that they at least get all of the love and the nourishment from these products. I also like to focus on massaging my scalp and this goes again with any cleansing product. You wanna make sure that you do focus on your scalp because that is where most of the product buildup sits on your head. Now I have rinsed that out and my hair is super soft and it's still a little tangled in certain places, but it's soft and clean. Now I'm going in with a deep treatment mask, which is pretty much the deep conditioner. And it has a fairly nice thick consistency. It smells so good. This whole line smells amazing. It smells like pina coladas and extra candy and it, it just smells so good. And now I'm taking kind of a small section of my hair. I do again work in four sections generally, but as you can see, I'm not super uniform about all of my sections when I do either my cleansing or deep conditioning. I just kind of go as I go. And then I like to go in with this little brush or comb, however you wanna call it and thoroughly saturate my hair with the product as well as detangle it. And you can see how this product really detangled my hair and juiced up my curls. And again, going to my problem section, the back, I give it extra TLC to make sure that it gets the same nourishment that the rest of my hair needs just as much. And then I twist up the section. I generally do twist up in 
the four sections, however ununiform they may look, <laughs> but they still get twisted up. And as you can see, I'm going in again to kind of detangle because if you have a section of your hair that just isn't right, go back again and do it again. And now I'm going to twist it up. Now I'm putting on my plastic cap, or usually I'll use a plastic bag, and then tie my scarf around it. It's pretty much my cheap version of a hothead. And then I leave this deep conditioning treatment into my hair for about 30 minutes to an hour. Now, after rinsing that out, I kind of dry it with anything that I find that has soft fabric, <laughs> and right now, I use leggings. <laughs> now I'm sectioning off my hair. Generally the section that I'm not working on, I kind of put that whole half into a little bundle and put that to the side. And then the section that I am working on, I split that into two. And then pin back the section that I am not working on. Now I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner. It has a really nice thick consistency and it smells amazing. And again, I'm going in with that section to kind of glide that through my hair, make sure that all the strands are coated and nourished with all the moisture. This again is where I find that I have to detangle my hair. Being that my hair is high porosity, it dries very quickly and therefore it tangles very quickly as well. So I kind of have to manipulate it for a while to get the product saturated through my hair. This leave-in conditioner does work wonders in my hair though. And again, with my brush, I really get to see how it just kind of glides straight through my hair. I just love this little tool that I have. It, it just makes detangling so much easier. And there you go, one section done. And you can see how juicy my curls look from this. And then I twist that section up and put it away. And now I'm coming to the full circle of my hair. And I just wanted you to see how this leave-in conditioner really defines my curls just on its own. It glides through my hair so well. And you really don't need a lot of it. And now my problem section again. Welcome to the back section. Don't neglect your hair. If your hair, if you have a section of your hair that does get very easily tangled or you feel it's just more tangly than the rest, or if your whole hair is just that way, just take the time to detangle it because you really wanna make sure that the products are evenly distributed throughout your hair. So with this part of my hair, I just give it some extra love and then proceed to twist it up. Now I'm going in with the oil and I'm taking about two teaspoons per section of my hair. It smells so good. That's why my reaction is crazy like that. It just smells so good. And then I'm just kind of gliding that through my hair, sliding it down from uh, the top to the bottom, and again, kind of detangling at the same time. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I like to make sure that I use a good amount of oil, not too much where it's greasy, but a good amount to where I feel like my hair has sealed in that moisture. 
and gets a little shine as well. And then we're going to twist it up. And I work accordingly throughout all of these sections. Now onto my favorite part, using the styling custard. It's again, smells amazing. And I'm taking a small amount because I'm working in the small section for my twist. And I just glide that down through my hair and detangle it uh, with my fingers as well to get it through my hair, making sure that it's fully saturated. This ensures that your hair will stay defined in whatever style that you do and that it will not dry out. And for me, I like to go in with my little brush and detangle it some more just to make sure that my twists are nice and smooth as they get put in. And I don't think we need to go into a twist out, I mean, a twisting tutorial, but if you do not know or if you just want to watch, I think this will give you pretty much the cues of where you need to go with twisting your hair. Now once I get to this bottom section, uh, towards the end of my hair, I find that I have to detangle again sometimes and that is fine. You really want to make sure that your hair is fully detangled and smooth. And then I twirl the ends around my finger and you get a little curl bounce. And now I'm done with the twist and I'm basically going to pin my hair back. This helps to stretch my hair, which will not only give it more length once I take the twist out, but it also helps it to dry faster and it helps you to just go about your day, either just go to sleep or put a scarf or head wrap, turban on, whatever, and go about your day. Now it's the next day, I'm going in with the oil and I'm taking a generous amount because I am applying this to my entire hair and I just kind of soak in all of my twists with the oil. And as far as how I take out my twists, I kind of go from the root and pull apart. And this is where you want to make sure that your twists or the hair that you're using for the twist is thoroughly detangled so that it comes out just as easy as that. And you work accordingly, according to all of your twists. This goes for braid outs, twist outs, three strand twists, however, and then I separate my hair generally how it wants to go. Sometimes I manipulate it a little more, but generally you want to go where the parts naturally create. Now I'm going in to shake my hair from the roots and I'm shaking it upwards and out. And this helps to create body and, and volume. And then I go in with my pick to kind of create a shape. And with that, I'm just kind of pulling out and upwards to give it a little bit more volume. And now I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and my full wash day routine. If you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.